I've been waiting for months to hang this picture on the wall and I'm finally gonna do it. At the beginning of our renovation process, we were fortunate enough to have the RV parked at a friend's house where we worked on it there. Now we've had to relocate to a storage facility and this place has been awesome. They're perfectly fine with us finishing up our last minute projects and they even put us in a spot that's empty on both sides so that we have space to work. I'm up on the roof of the RV because we're going to be installing the six solar panels that we got from Renogy. We've got them out of the boxes already but we're going to be using these boxes as templates to show where the solar panels are going to go to make sure everything fits properly. Of course the most nerve wracking part of all of this is getting out the drill and actually putting holes in the roof of your RV. Hopefully this goes good and I hit the spot every time. Since I still have holes to screw in the back side of the RV for the other solar panels, I managed to coax Rachel up on the top of the RV. She's not really happy about it. She doesn't like the ladder. I was fine getting up. I don't know how I'm getting down. I said I'll just push her down. See how that goes. It's like frosting a cupcake but I won't eat it. Come on, taste it. It's stinky. So we're out here working, stressing out, putting up solar panels, and a hot air balloon just pops up right behind us. Six solar panels are mounted to the roof. Tomorrow we're going to tackle wiring them and connecting up the whole system. Now for the easy part of the solar installation, getting all the solar panels connected to themselves and then to the battery. We've got some wire here that I need to add some NC4 connectors to, but that's actually fairly simple. The battery bank is actually going to be stored in the cabinet that's right by the bathroom. We have a battery down at the bottom. Uh, we're using the Energy Kodiak battery with lithium iron batteries inside. The cables are going to run right next to the vent drain for the black tank straight up to the roof. In order to get the cables inside, I had to pop off the top for the vent for the black tank here. And that's the vent itself. And I have a hole drilled right in here. The cables with the MC4 adapters on them aren't going to make it through, so I'm going to have to cut the MC4 adapters off, wire them through, and then connect new ones on the other side. We took out the mattress that was in here originally and we replaced it with a tuft and needle foam mattress which is super comfy and we love it but it is too long we've got a little tiny little squeeze through here which it's doable we can move around but we are going to cut off some 
so that it can fit. With it being a foam mattress, should be an easy slice with an electric knife. What a difference seven inches can make. Look at this. Walk right through. I don't have to turn to the side. Nick is doing a lot of the work. Probably almost all of the work. Very little that I'm doing. But I'm doing sewing, which is something I've never done before. I made pillows for the very first time. Look at this. Lovely pillow. And today I'm working on recovering the couch. Same material that I did on the dinette cushions, which was a lot of work. I probably shouldn't tell you about how many times I've had to measure and remeasure and buy fabric again because I didn't measure correctly. Stay in school, kids, and do your math because it's really important when you need to sew things. out and brought it home so that we could figure out how to make a cover for it. We've kind of fitted and sewn and put it together over the course of a couple days and now we're ready to get it on and make sure it's nice and tight and secure. As far as attaching our cover to the couch, we decided to just replicate what was already done before. So we're sticking a rod in the fabric and to keep it nice and tight, and then hooking it on with hog rings, which means we had to buy this crazy contraption. So we sewed our cover with a, an open hem here that we stuck a rod in, and we're about to attach it on. Let's hope it works. We want to make sure the cover is secure as possible. We don't want lots of wrinkles happening on the couch. So we're going to put a layer of spray adhesive in between the two fabrics in hopes that that'll keep things nice and tight. With the adjustable monitor arm and keyboard tray installed for my standing desk, I'm officially done with projects before we hit the road. The next step for me is cleaning up this mess that's around here so that we can start the packing process. If you've enjoyed this video and also any of the other renovation videos that we've put out, leave us a comment and let us know if you have any questions. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well and also subscribe to the channel. We're planning on doing at least one video a week once we're on the road and possibly more. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you on the road. What? What do you want? I'm trying to make a video here. Do you want a hog ring? Huh? You want a hog ring? <laughs> yes, of course she does. <laughs>